All right, we're gonna terminate some fiber. We're gonna start by opening our package up. And taking out what we need and separating out what we don't need for our termination. Don't need the crimp, don't need the boot. You always wanna start by putting your boot on. And your clip. At this point you actually want to put your connector into your tool, turn it on, stripping off the 900 micron jacket. Stripping off the acrylic coating. At this point, you want to clean it with your alcohol. If you don't clean it, it's going to fail because, and you're going to contaminate your tools with dirt, and you're going to have to clean everything and start all over. If you hear that squeak, that means it's very clean. In the process of cleaning, you're also checking for any nicks or imperfections in the fiber glass. If there were any, by doing this, it would break. I know now that this is good integrity and we can continue on. This is the cleaver. Press both of our buttons. Load our fiber in until it comes out the other side. Let go of the buttons. Press the blue button down until you hear a tiny little click. Grab your fiber stub and remove it. Put it to the side at a, you know, at a safe location and dispose of it later. Now we're going to remove our freshly cleaved end. At this point you don't want to clean it ever again because you would just be introducing dirt onto your freshly cleaned end. And now we're going to insert the fiber into the connector. We're gonna make a little bow in the cable and this is applying forward pressure into the jack so that when we do our next step it's gonna make a good connection. So we're gonna cam it. The light's green which is not gonna say that it's gonna pass but it's gonna tell you that right now it's good enough to do the next step which is crimp it by turning this and we're gonna hold the connector, press the load, and remove it. We can put our clip on and slide our booty forward. I'm not really too much at this point worried about the end of the connector because we're going to clean that anyway. You always want to clean your connectors and patch cables. The main cause of failures with fiber optics is, believe it or not, dust and dirt. So clean it. We're going to be cleaning this a lot through the process. I applied the dust cap again and that's your fiber optic termination. I would clean this again as you were going to put it into the bulkhead in the fiber tray. And that's it.